So where are you off to today? Okay. <laughs> I can I can see how this is going to go. <laughs> Lighthouse Yarns, instrumental in bringing the Yarn Folk Festival of Wool to Whitehead. It's the first time in Northern Ireland that's ever been held, so it's a real accomplishment. Well done, Louise and the team. It's very busy here at the parochial hall. Packed out, loads of people. Great stalls. Lovely. There's something I've never seen before. I mean, I'm not a knitter myself, but this is like Listing for giants almost. It's really big wool. That's 500 grams of wool. So we met Agna, who produces this, and um, she comes from Magrafelt, and it's the it's the first time I've seen wool like this, quite so big. We're here on Nancy's stall. Nancy does crochet classes, and she crochets and knits herself some wonderful things. The company's Nancy said. So Nancy, how are you finding today? Oh, I am loving it. My cheeks are short from smiling because this is totally my sort of thing. I just love the buzz and people are people are responding really well. To people who are coming here can already knit and crochet for the most part. Yeah. So they're buying the wee patterns that I've written or they're that enthralled by the whole day and by the quality as well. That's the uh, parochial hall in Whitehead. Let's have a look at the Methodist church. Felt flowers, we're making felt flowers. And this is available for anybody to come along and, and have a go. Really nice, thank you very much. I'm off to find a button making course or demonstration that's going on here. We are making dorset buttons. What are dorset buttons? They were made as buttons before the Industrial Revolution. That will be a necklace. That's a necklace? Necklace. It's difficult sometimes to get just the right buttons and if you make the buttons out of the yarn you've used to knit you have something ideal it's this is a necklace made from dorsal buttons so these ladies are spinning needle felting here which is an art in itself it looks like teasing out the wool and making pictures and scenes out of uh, the different coloured wool. Whitehead Community Centre, let's have a look inside. Here we are in the Community Centre, it's really busy, there's so much going on. And more people coming in too. <laughs> So, what's your name? Emma. Emma, hi, nice to meet you. So, you guys produce all of this yourselves. You spin it, you mm -hmm. weave it, you dye it. It's how's the whole it, process. How's it going for you today then? Uh, yeah, it's really busy. Um, loads of people are asking questions and looking at the spinning wheels because they're a bit of a spectacle. And um, yeah, people are really interested. So, the Guild of Spinners, Weavers and Dyers. Right. And we're basically a group of mostly women up at the Ulster Folk and Transport Museum in the Lagan Room. First Tuesday of the month, 7 o'clock. <laughs> so, Emma, I hope you have a good day. Thank you very much Thanks. for talking to us. Thank you. <laughs> so, Debbie, how are you finding today? Yeah, it's been amazing. We've come over from England, uh -huh. from Berkshire, and um, we've had a great time over here. We've got all different kinds of uh, wool, from the luxury yarns, the merinos and silks and cashmeres, um, to I get some of my own yarn spun in a mill in Devon. So British yarns as well, which are always very, very popular these days. So this is the Painted Raven, local girl from Whitehead, makes buttons, um, such an array of fantastic buttons. So Rachel, you recently moved to Whitehead about six, yep. six weeks ago, about you six said. Weeks and you came from Australia. From Australia, yep. I just yes. noticed that big black one. Yeah, that one which is in progress, um, but yeah, I can do different flowers, different colours, um, 
different animals, I guess. Yeah. The sky's the limit, really. The buttons are pretty amazing like that, so. Nice to meet you. You too, thank Good you very luck. much. Tracy, well done for getting the, how do we say it, the Yarn Folk, Yarn Folk Wool Festival. Well done for bringing it here. <laughs> um, it's collaboration of yourself and Louise. Louise, yep, and uh, Terry from Fine Fish Yarns as well. So uh, this is Louise and Terry's baby, really. Uh, Louise has always had a passion for yarn. She's really wanted to showcase what Northern Ireland has to offer. And she's very much in love with Whitehead. So there was no better place than to bring it here. You and I think she's done a great job. You must be very pleased with the number of people oh, that have come. Phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. The ticket sales were fabulous, but the number of people that have turned up on the day on the door and just even talking to you know the exhibitors and the customers, everybody's just having such a great day. The workshops and the demonstrations. The demonstrations yeah. and the workshops. Yeah, it's absolutely. those lovely old skills as well that yeah. you know people like to watch and see how things are done. You can see everything from you know the spinning right the way through to the hand dyeing. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. So the bank house and lighthouse yarns are buzzing. <laughs> the wool shop in Whitehead. Louise behind the till. I'm here in Lighthouse Yarns, the, uh, the hub of the Yarn Folk uh, Festival in Whitehead, mm -hmm. and I'm about to speak with the person responsible for bringing it to Whitehead, Louise. You must be really pleased with the turnout today. I am. Hopefully it's brought a lot of business and a bit of fun into Whitehead. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, you, you've managed to fill the Meth Methodist Church, the mm -hmm. parochial hall, the community centre, and these are all exhibitors from far afield, aren't they? Some have come from England and quite a lot from down south. Uh, we've had visitors from Birmingham, Australia and New Zealand Amazing. today. Yeah. I think you'll do this same again next year? Yeah. And hopefully definitely. it'll be bigger and better. I mean, it's fantastic. <laughs> we've this got year. room for, to use other halls. So, so you've got more space available. Yeah, and we've um, got people already booked up for next year already. Congratulations. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a great day. You've done really well. Thank you. Thanks very much.